Good day, YouTube. It is the 15th of December, 2019. And today in my shop, the barn, um, we're going to upgrade some lighting to uh, some commercial electric LED light fixtures. I'll show you uh, what I've got currently. I got my ladder all set up. You see that? I have, uh, it's difficult to see because pointing at a light fixture with your camera. But those are two tube T8 fluorescent fixtures. I put those up when I bought this building around uh, 12 years ago, I think it's been. I also put a ceiling fan up right now. It's hard to run it with that cable in the way. But I've got a little trolley that goes back and forth so I can lift engines and things off my air table. There we go. Um, so, I've had a one or two ballasts go bad. What I did is uh, 12 years ago, I bought some inexpensive fixture, but I had uh, some ballasts that were um, left over from a, a project at work. And so I actually updated the ballast in these fixtures back in the day. So they had, uh, they were actually an inexpensive fixture with commercial ballasts in them and decent T8 lamps. They've lasted pretty well, but a couple of them went bad. Um, I went down uh, months and months ago, and I had bought four of these uh, commercial electric, actually it's been more than a year ago, LEDs, liked them. They were about 50 bucks a piece, but you know, they were just coming out, and I actually checked on them yesterday. They're still 50 bucks a piece, because I'd really like to have two more, but I'm, I don't know. I had another idea, so anyway, I've got two of them changed out. Can you tell the difference? I can tell you um, this side of my shop is so much brighter and wider that uh, I'm definitely going to get those two changed out. So I have two more. I have one right there and I have the one behind me. There's the old ones on that cart. And uh, we'll get those two changed out. And then what I'm going to do is back over here. I'm going to replace those two with a couple LED fixtures that I got at Harbor Freight this morning. And I actually bought some for my brother for his birthday yesterday as well. Um, caught them on sale on the Black Friday sale. I picked up a couple more this morning. Also on the coupon for $20 a piece. And they seem really decent. So, I'll show you what else we got going in here. Warford LED hanging shop light. Da, da, da. It's a little narrower, a little trimmer, a little smaller. It's actually 46 and 3 8 inches. So I'm going to put two of those up over top of the lift um, where these two are. That's what I'll do today. And then if I decide, I've got natural light windows over there, um, which really help things in here to be able to see by. It's really hard to show the light when you're pointing the camera to windows. But working on the lift, you really want a ton of light. So what I might do is get two more and put those here. Let me show you how I've set the uh, lighting up in my shop. I have a couple switches over there. Oh, come on. Right there. Yes, I don't have a cover on yet. Um, it's only been 12 years. So one of those is the ceiling fan, which has got a light kit. Um, just something that I got for free or cheap or something when I first got this building. It's nice to have the fan circulating a little bit of air sometimes, even in the winter time, but especially in the summer. And I put junction boxes here, here, and here, and I've cut the cord ends off and I'm hard wiring those in. In this location, you can see I've got a cord reel there. I actually have a second one to go up there, and I put an outlet in. I put that outlet in uh, behind this switch. Um, I have 20 amp rated commercial uh, switches. Um, definitely will handle the load. Um, so that cord reel comes down here to a cord end, right? And this is what I plug in like a battery charger, soldering iron, heater, whatever I want 
And then when I leave the shop, I shut the light switch off over there and the cord reel goes dead. I have that in my garage at home. I've done that many times. It's kind of a safety deal. I know that that outlet is tied into the light switch. Right there. And that if I get a phone call or somebody stops by or and we got to go, no problem. Turn the light off and everything plugged in to here goes off. I have another cord reel somewhere um, I was going to fix up with a light in it and hang it on the other side and plug it in as well. So I'll have a hanging light and a hanging power strip. Just something you might want to consider in your shop. Um, but if you're doing soldering and stuff like that, I make myself plug it into there. Because when I leave, I do shut the lights off and the soldering iron will go off. Just reduce the fire hazard when I have another portable heater. Um, I also plug it into there and it goes off. It's a, it's long enough to stretch anywhere in a shop. So let me continue with the LED retrofit. And by the way, we call this room of my barn, the milking room. See what's on TV. Can't let you hear it, but you can see it. Um, and this is the, was a dairy barn it has high concrete walls all the way up to here and then there used to be a trench in the floor that i filled in with concrete so yeah, you know, they would hose this down this is where they'd milk the cows so kind of nice room actually um i should put some insulation at least in the ceiling one day that's on the list we'll get that done but i really like in the leds um this is a you know pretty yellow light pretty white light and uh, I'm going to get these two replaced. And then I'm going to, if I can get over there with the junk on the lift, I'd like to get those two replaced with those Harbor Freight ones. And then with the idea that I may come back and add two more one day. Because I could really get some light over the lift. And when you're working on stuff like this, you guys know as well as I do, you can't have too much light. Even when you're right next to natural light windows. So let me get these uh, two going and I'll check back with you. All right guys, we got two rows in and uh, the third row is still fluorescent, but you know, I got all this stuff on the lift and uh, I really don't feel like moving it. There's parts and stuff sitting around, something might get lost. So like those four wait in the year, to get swapped out. These two are going to wait their turn to get swapped out. I'm not going to do this today. So uh, we'll just have to live with what we got. Let's flip them on. See what we got. Ready? You get the fluorescent in view as well. Bam. I know it's hard to tell in the camera mode, but I would say 50% more light and a brighter light. I don't know if you can really tell from this vantage point and all the junk I got in view. Possibly from looking at the toolbox that's under the fluorescent lights, but is also next to all the windows. Um, yeah, it's awesome. <clears throat> It'll make for better videos. Um, the color will be more true. Um, it's so much easier to work, especially if you're doing machining and stuff like that. So, a really good project for today. Glad I got those done. I'm going to spend a little more time picking some stuff up. And then, you know, it's getting really close to this whole Christmas thing. And I think I finished my Christmas shopping today, but I got to get stuff sorted and I might wrap some stuff and kind of do that. So, I guess we'll, uh, Call this video done for now. We'll come back in another day and get those last two fluorescents changed out. Um, LEDs, these four from uh, Home Depot, they were uh, 50 bucks a piece. You can still get them, or at least you can still get them online. I don't know if you can get them in the store. I didn't look last time I was in there. Um, you can get them a year ago. And then I got these two uh, from Harbor Freight. You can pick these up on sale, uh, 20 bucks a piece if you watch the app. Uh, or the ads or whatever they were black friday they were like 19 dollars a piece that was the best price so for uh 240 you can turn a shop this size anyway 
into a nice bright place to work guys gals appreciate you watch the video give her a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind um and uh, good luck with your shop relighting project all right catch you on the next video